Hey guys, so today I'm going to be mixing all of my liquid lipsticks, my lip stains, lip glosses, lip balms together. I saw Sophia Nygaard do this video and I've already done like layering all of my highlighters, stuff like that. I think I did one for my blush as well and I saw this video and I was like, oh, I need to do it. I think it's kind of old, but I really, really, really want to do it. I am going to go ahead and mix all of the lip glosses and all of that stuff together. And I'm going to take off this lip stuff and show you exactly what it looks like. I'm going to... Right, so... I'm gonna be doing all of my liquid lipsticks, my lip glosses, and like my lip balms. I'm not gonna be doing actual lipsticks. There we go. And I'm only gonna put like a tiny little bit of each. The reason why I'm not doing lipsticks is because I can just imagine that being a total, total mess. Okay, so these are all of my liquid lips, my lip glosses. And as you can see, I only put a, like a little dot of each because when I saw Safia Nightguard's one, it produced so much that it was kind of like, what are you gonna do with all of the rest of it? Make sure I scrape it off the bottom there, yeah. Now I've got to kind of make sure that this mixes evenly. The good thing is because there's lip gloss in there, I think it will stop it from drying down because you know like obviously liquid lipsticks is supposed to dry down. Oh my gosh, look at this color. And it smells so fruity. It smells so nice. And I think that is because of the, there's one of my lip glosses that is just so fruity. So, so nice. Okay, so I've mixed it. I believe it's even. Now we're going to try it on my lips. Okay, so I've mixed all of the shades and I'm going to try it on without any lip liner on and then I'm going to show, show it to you with lip liner on. So without... This is like a deep berry kind of red. And these are just not the kind of shades that I ever go for. And it's kind of opaque. Like when I first put it on, it was really, really sheer. But as I went in again, that opacity just built up. Oh my gosh. Okay, now I'm gonna try it with a lip liner. Okay, so now I've got my lip liner on. I must say, it did stain my lips, and I found that I had to wipe them extra hard and put on a lot of lip liner to cover like the stainage, but anyway. I actually prefer it with the lip liner. I think I just prefer everything with lip liner. Yeah, I actually really prefer 
how it looks with lip liner. I think I could get down with this now. But either way, it's still not like on my kind of shade. I so prefer to have a nude color, like just something so natural and simple. But I absolutely love the way that it smells. I love that it's out of my comfort zone. And I just like doing the challenge. I liked uh, seeing what it was going to turn out to be. And I'm glad that I did the amounts that I did. I didn't want to have loads and loads left. And look, there's still, there's still quite a bit that I can like swipe around and potentially use for one or two applications if I wanted to, but I don't think I'm going to do all of that. Because I look, there's absolutely loads. So if you are going to be doing this challenge, then make sure that you only use a tiny bit. I mean, like, look, there's so much and there's still um, stuff left in the ramekin as well and you just don't want to be wasting all your products so so if you like this video give it a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe and i'll see you in the next one bye